Dr. Rackett, intermediate student with Lambda, and function Koch has a problem. I have to type Koch minus D1 four times in this version, and that's not only tedious, but it's a potential source of errors. We can do better. Here's a function Koch2 that produces the same fractal, but in a slightly different way. Let's look at the definition. The first question-answer pair is identical to the old version, so that's not going to be the source of innovation. The second question-answer pair has this local definition, two local definitions inside of Koch2. They can't be seen outside of Koch2, and they're going to do some extra work for us. D minus is a constant definition that has the value of 1 less than D. K is the definition of a function. That function is just Koch2 of D minus rotated, well rotated whatever angle A and GL is. What can we do with that? Well with map we can use K to produce a list of Koch images rotated 0, 60, minus 60, and 0 degrees. Then we can paste those four images together using apply and beside slash align. Might be a little hard to imagine, so let's look at a particular example outside of Koch2 where I've defined the function k2 to behave the same way that k would in the case where d is 2. So it produces a Koch2 of d minus 1 or 1, and it'll rotate at whatever angle it's told to rotate it. Let's try mapping that over a few angles. So if I map K2 over a list of angles, let's say 0, 60, minus 60, and 0, it produces a new list of those four Koch images. Now I can paste those together using apply and beside slash align. And this builds up the next most complicated Koch fractal. All right, let's see if we can understand how Koch2 works. Koch2 of 0, to understand that, we go to the function definition, replace all of the d's by 0. The first question says, is 0 equal to 0? Sure it is. So it produces that familiar line. Now, Koch2 of 1. We go to the function definition, replace all the d's by 1, first question asks, is 1 equal to 0? Of course not. So we go, we look at the local definition. D minus is going to be 1 minus 1, or 0. K is going to be a function that takes Koch 2 of 0 and rotates it by some angle. Koch 2 of 0 is just that familiar line. So we're going to have four, a list of four copies of that line rotated 0, 60, minus 60, and 0 degrees. And now we can take that list of images and paste them together using apply and beside a line. And we get that bumpy line. Koch 2 of 2, how to understand that? Well, we go to the function definition, replace all the d's by 2. Is 2 equal to 0? Of course not. The local definition say that d minus is equal to 2 minus 1, or 1. k is a function that takes Koch 2 of 1 and rotates it through some angle. Koch 2 of 1 is that bumpy line that we just produced. So the map expression is going to produce a list, four copies of those bumpy lines, rotated 0, 60, minus 60, and 0 degrees. And now I can paste those four copies together using apply beside. That looks like that. I bet you can guess what Koch 2 of 3 looks like. Four copies of Koch 2 of 2 pasted together. Even Koch 2 of 4. And that needs a bit more room, which I get with Control D. There you go.